Am I here by an accident? What in the world could God possibly be thinking? Why am I struggling in this situation surrounded by people who are driving me batty? Do you know why you are where you are today? Are you there by accident, by chance, coincidence, or luck? Watch today's video and find out what we have to say on this topic. Hey, staying kingdom minded. Thanks so much for coming over to watch another video here on our channel. I would like to take just a moment to encourage you. If you have not had a chance to already, please hit that big red subscribe button to the right of your screen. And don't forget to tap the bell so you don't miss any notifications when we upload a video. So we absolutely love making videos for you guys. We truly enjoy seeing the view count go up, the like buttons going up, the comments and interacting with you guys. We absolutely love this online ministry and using this social media platform as a way to witness for Jesus Christ and spread the love and the gospel one video at a time. So we thank you so much for coming over. Okay, so today I just really felt heavy to share with you guys and share with myself as the Holy Ghost sharing with me the importance of being comfortable in your surrounding, being happy where you are and being content in the things and the places that God has you in your life. So there is no such thing as you all know of luck or chance or coincidence when God is in control of your life. You certainly don't think that it was an accident that you work where you work, that you live where you live, and you shop where you shop. You certainly don't think that that's anything of your own choosing, do you? Because the master of all heaven and earth has laid out a plan for you and you're walking in that plan if you're truly seeking after him. So I know many of us may not be happy in the positions that we hold and our jobs. We not, may not be happy in the neighborhoods that we live in. We may long to move to a different area in town. We may long to move to a different town in general. But stop and think for just a moment. God has placed you amongst a circle of your peers for a purpose. You and only you can live out your Christianity in front of your friends, families, co-workers, and acquaintances. And then that is how they see God changing you, molding you into a new creation, into a Christian. And they sit back and they watch this. And this is a living testimony. This isn't you walking up to them and saying, hey, guess what God did for me? Or, hey, you should come to church on Sunday. It starts at 1115 at Pickles Pentecostals. <laughs> you don't have to do those things all the time. Sometimes the best way to witness and a lot of times the best way to witness is just to live out your Christianity. Be Christ-like in your actions, in your thoughts, in the things that you say, the places that you go, the places that you refuse to go, and the things you refuse to participate in because you want God to lead your life. So this is the bottom line. There is no such thing as coincidence. Our life is not left up to chance, but purely the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is guiding you in all things. You are surrounded by a group of people that only you are going to be able to reach. Maybe you're the only Jesus that a person's going to see in that day's time. So I would implore you to be the best witness that you possibly can be. Share Jesus with the world like we do one video at a time, like some of you do one video at a time one interaction at a time, one handshake, one warm hug, whatever it is, the way that you share Jesus, continue to do what you do in the group that you are in. You may be surrounded by people who just drive you insane. You may be in a struggling relationship. You may be working for a boss who just seems difficult and you just really don't understand why could God have you in the place that he does. And you're praying for a blessing. You're praying for a promotion. You're praying for this new house that you've put in an application for or whatever your circumstance is, wherever you are today. Be content in your situation and know that God wants you to minister to those people. He wants you to be praying for those people. The Bible says to pray one for another. We're to lift one another up. The Bible says that God is no respecter of persons and we are to be no respecter of persons. So from your absolute BFF, to the person who half the time, honestly, every time you interact with them, you feel like you're going to have an argument or, you know, a disagreement. Pray for them. Pray, pray, pray for the people that God has placed in your life because you are going to be able to minister and reach those people. And your prayers are going to make a difference in their life. 
The Bible says that the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. What does that mean? God hears your prayers. If you are righteous, if you are living a right and holy lifestyle, God hears you and he wants to move mountains for you and he wants to give you promotions and he wants to build you up and he wants to give you all of these wonderful things. But be content where you are. Build up your friends, build up your family, build up the ones around you who honestly just drag you batty and know that you are there for a reason. You're not accidentally there. You are not there by choice or chance. You are there for a purpose. You are there for a kingdom of purpose. The same reason why I feel that you're watching this video right now. So Noah was called to build an ark. Esther was called to save her people. What are you called for today? Who are you building up? Who are you praying for? The true test is not loving those who love you back. The true test is loving those who have absolutely nothing to offer you and nothing to give back to you. They have nothing financially to offer you and half the time they might drive you crazy. The true test is to love everyone as Jesus loves us. So I hope you're letting your light shine for all the world to see. I hope this video encourages you and builds you up and helps you to find contentment in your situation. Whatever it is you're facing, wherever it is you are, find contentment. Witness to those around about you, not only with word, definitely not only with word, but by action as well. So I hope this video encourages you. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so already. Help our online ministry grow. We love each and every one of you. We pray for our subscribers very, very frequently. We are hoping that God is blessing you in every situation and in all things. If you have any prayer requests, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. Or you can shoot us an email at stayingkingdomminded at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget, wherever you are and in all things, stay kingdom-minded.